Located on the Hamakua coast of the Hawaii island is Waipio Valley. It's home to one of the best hikes on Hawaii island. It's about a mile wide and six miles deep. Waipio means curved water. It's definitely a place that my family's going to remember forever. That might be because we got lost and spent a lot of hours there. We've been talking a lot about how diverse the Big Island is, and we decided to do a hike to a waterfall today. Very foresty. Guys, you can run on these hills. Be careful to not fall on the rock. So we were on the right, wrong path for probably near an hour. So I told Zach to take the kids to the car and I would go off because it's another two miles one way. So we'll see if this is the right trail because it's supposed to be the tallest waterfall in Hawaii. So I am curious about it. Wish me luck in the wilderness by myself. I hate doing crap like this. But at the same time, our time is running out here on the big island. So if I do not do it, we won't make it up here again. Cause it's probably not a priority for Zach. Cause spear fishing is. I chickened out. I don't ever go in there by myself. It's fine. It's too eerie. I heard a bunch of animal noises. Now I'm trying to find which way my family is. All right, folks, we are out on a hike. And we tried to do this yesterday and we got a little lost. By the time we found the right trail, we were a little exhausted and the kids were going a little wild. So we are back again today. Yesterday we were out hiking, a guy in a big truck came up to us and asked if we had seen a black dog. About 30 minutes later, we found this black dog and it was just bathing in the mud. You could tell that it had been playing, but it was getting a little scared. So I approached it, started following me and the kids. It freaked Gray out, Gray started bawling. Yeah, he was like... <laughs> yeah. Vera picked up a stick and was fending the dog off with the stick. The dog followed me for a good mile and a half, but we didn't see the truck again, and then finally we were kind of leaving town. So we found the driver of the black truck parked at his house, so we drove up and let him know that we had left the dog in the middle of the trail because it, it wouldn't continue following us anymore. It wouldn't let us get close. He kind of looked at me like, ugh, this happens all the time. It was kind of a fun experience. I don't know that Gray was very excited though. I hope we find the trail. Subscribe and like! Uh oh, it's starting to get muddy and cloudy. Might be in for a real treat. Good thing we brought swimming suits, huh? So it's a little windy and the trees are rocking and they're either hitting each other or they're cracking. It's freaking Angie out again. It's gonna be okay, Angie. Do you wanna get on my back? Yeah. Okay, come get on my back. Too big for me. What have you been eating? Uh, fish. You've been eating shorts? Yeah. I really like hiking in very remote places. One of the great things is you don't have internet, so you're not getting messages from work or emails or texts or anything like that, and you really just get to experience nature with the family. Yesterday, Ray 
they finally started getting comfortable in the water in the deep end. And it made me really excited. He was pushing me in, trying to fake me out. He was diving in, jumping in backwards. He's not a great swimmer, but he can hold his breath for so long. He'll just hold his breath and his head under the water for a long time and just be fine. He'll go and find the edge and hold on to it. It's getting me really excited for when he's older and he can come out spear fishing with me, free diving. It'll be really fun. And my feelings inside. Bye. I hope no strangers get you. He turns around and he's strong. What are you guys doing? Coming fast or let Let's say that we're just hiking fast because he's teaching me how to hike fast because I don't know how. so many trails to choose from when you're hiking in Waipio Valley. Many of those trails are used for horseback riding tours. Tara sings when we hike. She'll get embarrassed if she knows I'm filming her. So we were looking for a waterfall. This isn't even the waterfall that we were supposed to get. Can you believe it? That's what I love about Hawaii. Lots of good surprises. Just about ran into that sucker. It's starting to rain and we're about three miles away from our car, so that's fun. We are going down something that does not even resemble a trail. It is so green and wet. It's really starting to come down now. We are totally not on the trail anymore. We are probably four miles away from our car. We can make it home. Getting lost was definitely not part of our plan, but we were able to see a lot of Waipio Valley lookouts. Wow, look at that. Oh, and you can see the coast really well. Look at that, we're up in the clouds, guys. Dude, you look all wet. Was it raining? Is it raining? We didn't see the waterfall, but holy cow, look at that beautiful valley. Come look at this beautiful lookout. Is my hat keeping you dry? Yeah. Now we gotta see if we can find the car. We are still pretty darn lost. But we're having fun, right? Right, Vera? <laughs> well, we're lost. Are we really? Yep. Is he got got enough hunter for us? No. We don't really have service, and we're still very lost. Very lost. Ooh, it could be that right there. So that cuts down to the main road, I bet. Do you want to just continue on this one? What do you think? This just looks like a shortcut to that main. Yeah. This is like that scene in Beauty and the Beast where she's riding in the carriage. No, 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 it's the dad. The dad gets attacked by wolves. 
I don't think there are wolves in Hawaii. Maybe some wild boars. But look at those trees. Those look like right out of Snow White. This looks like something out of a movie. These trees are amazing. The big island does not look like any of the other islands, and it is really cool. You either are in foresty, green, really thick areas, or lava deserts. Oh, cool, another fork in the road. Who knows? Which should we choose? That's gonna go to the main road to go that way and up, or we can go that way and it might go up more towards our car. Oh, great. Do you think we should take that one? If you I don't know, let's that. see. I really don't know. Where will it go? Hopefully it'll go to that road, which is... Well, it doesn't look like it connects, so... Should we try? Yeah, let's try. How are your legs doing? This one isn't at all, like, green, but this one is, like, so springy. Bear's legs fell asleep when she was on my shoulders for so long, huh? Well, not this one. Just the other one? This leg is, like, so springy. Well, we finally got back onto the right road. Our car is just around the corner. Uh, that was my bad, dude. Well, this guy got the best ride in the house, huh? You didn't even take a step, you bum. Are you lazy? Stinker. Ah, oh, it's raining again. Just around the river bend. So this is the second day in a row that we have done this hike to find the tallest waterfall in Hawaii. And it's the second day in a row that we didn't find it. <laughs> but we did find two really awesome waterfalls. We also saw a runoff waterfall that was a little far off. Overall, beautiful hike. We got all the way to the coast and got to see a really pretty valley. There's not a lot of tropical hikes here on the Big Island. It wasn't too muddy either, which was nice. Yeah, it was nice. We are at mile 7.2. Our mindset had been that we were only gonna do a half mile, but we kept getting lost and we kept following this river and we kept finding waterfalls. So to say that we are exhausted would be an understatement. It poured on us, we're all soaking wet. Overall though, it was a really wonderful hike, very tropical, very green. And that guy right there just was sleeping the whole time. I think we need to tickle him. Tickle, 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 tickle. This is how fast I climb on a 